Hello, Zero K fans. This is Chatterfury 33 with another live stream of exhibition matches. However, today it's actually going to be fully live since the replay system is still not working. The server move, I don't know. But anyway, I am actually going to be casting proper live games now because that's all I've got. First off is going to be Randy and Black Duchy on Intersection. I just need to wait for the players to actually get set up. But once that happens, then the game will begin. Fortunately, it's kind of hard to like wait. Waiting for up is a bit of a pain, but just wait for that to go through and then get in the game. So yeah, Randy, for those not familiar, is the current second best player in the game, but he's pretty close to Golda for best player. And there we go. Okay, game has started. Like I said, on intersection, and unfortunately, got a bit of a disconnect, so I have to catch up. Black Dutchy going for Shieldbot Factory in the northwest corner of the map. Went for a very quick bandit-oriented raiding setup. While Randy going for air right off the bat. And he is, well, going straight for early ravens. Gonna get rid of a couple metal extractors. Bit of a pain in the butt for Black Dutchy, but not the biggest deal. He can recover. Anyway, Randy is basically just using that as cover to build up his base, setting up early metal extractors, not focusing too heavily on attacking except for that one raid with this, your shadow, while Black Dutchy, on the other hand, has five bandits. He's going for a very heavy early raid, switching into vandals as well just to defend against any further shadows, or, sorry, ravens, which are coming in, not shadows anymore, any further ravens coming in. Black Dutchy is... He's not... Having the best organized troops right now. They are just getting set up. Needs to regroup them here first. Make sure they are all in one nice group before he attacks with them. Because five bandits one at a time will not do the trick. Five bandits, of course, in a large group. And vandals are set up. Now, vandals, one thing about them is that they don't deal a whole lot of damage individually. They are very tough. It takes a lot to kill them, but they don't actually kill things themselves that quickly. So this raven will be able to get away. Does... Get down to 224 health. Get down about a quarter of its health, but still, it's not enough. Black Duchy, or sorry, a fifth of its health, actually. Exactly, or very nearly a fifth of its health. Black Duchy getting further and further behind as a result of this. I'm a bit surprised he hasn't just set up convicts and started to build up in areas where he's not likely to be seen. Randy is, however, he is setting up a crane, going to the northeast very quickly, and Black Duchy coming in with the, with the bandits. One of the bandits does actually manage to get through, kills Metal Extractor kills a Wind Generator as well. We'll kill another Metal Extractor before it gets done. Although, the Raven will stop it. Oh, it stops it right before killing the next Metal Extractor. So, at this point, Randy and Black Dutch are about even. But Randy is expanding very aggressively to the northeast. And probably going to consolidate down the center. So, going quickly off the corner and then going back in. And I'm glad to see this. I've actually been experimenting with this a bit myself in some games. And it's not that bad of a strategy. It's kind of difficult for your opponent to even expect that you're going to be there. But, you just go from there and start taking a bunch of stuff on the side, and then you essentially just... You set it up to so this one big line with your starting base. So instead of just gradually expanding outwards, you start outwards and expand backwards. Bit of an aggressive play, but if your opponent doesn't stop you, it can be very powerful. Especially if they don't expect you to be there that early, then it's just a bunch of hidden economy. Randy going for Jump Plant for a Ground Factory. As a replacement... Oh, darn it. I forgot to change off some of these things. Sorry, it's... I had to rather quickly set this up because the players don't wait for me. No one waits for me, but I'm used to that. Anyway, Hacks being set up for Black Touch. He's very much prepared against air, but he's way too invested in anti-air right now. And this jump jet plant is going to be just... That's right there. That's already going to be taking care of everything. Maybe a pyro or two comes out of here. It'll just burn up all these vandals. And that hacksaw is getting excessive. There's really only been one raven this entire game. That one raven's the... Okay, this crane's coming up as well, but... That one raven's the only offensive area that has come up this entire game. And it's... Even now, gonna escape. With half health, but still it's gonna escape, heal up, and... It's... Not gonna be able to threaten anything too much, but at the same time... Black Duchy has invested a lot into anti-air. He hasn't invested in an expansion at all. Randy has expanded, and Black Duchy is not even aware of this. His radar is not aware of this. He doesn't have any units around there. So right now, Randy is definitely in the lead. 
but at the same time, this jump jet factory is still under production. The bandits do have a bit of a chance to get around and do a bit more harassment, though I... I don't know. Not really. The raven's right in the back of the base. There's not much they can do. The vandals will be coming in to try to help support the bandits in case the ravens come in, but at this point, we have pyros and... Bandits will have a bit of a chance if micro properly. I mean, even Glaives can get rid of a pyro if micro properly. With six bandits, though, it might be a bit tricky. I'm not sure what Black Duchy's bandit micro is like, but if he does pull it off, then that will be very powerful. Pyro is... First pyro is done! There is a raven up here, and the vandals will help up with the pyro. Coming up to defend against the incoming forces from Black Duchy. Randy, just to point out, he does have... Oops, Randy has radar coverage of the entire eastern side of the map. So he knows exactly what Black Duchy is up to. That he's coming in here with, well, I don't know what kind of units quite yet, but he does now. Seeing the bandits and not quite seeing the vandals yet. Yeah, the vandals do need to, they need to stay behind. They cannot move forward. They have to be very careful because those vandals will die quickly. They are pure anti-air. They cannot attack the commander or the pyro. Unless the pyro jumps, I think. I'm not entirely sure about that. I don't think they're able to hit a jumping pyro. But yeah, that, that's going to be tough for Black Duchy. He does have... Well, more and more bandits coming in, so over time he will be able to deal with these pyros. And a couple of roaches coming in as well. That... That could work. Against all these pyros, though, I'd almost... Or shield bots. She shield bot versus pyro. Bandits aren't too bad. I mean, they are pretty tough. So it's not going to be extremely difficult. Otherwise, though, I'm not sure offhand. For cost, I mean, outlaw is kind of too expensive. doesn't deal much damage, so it doesn't work for the riot aspect. And rogues wouldn't be a terrible idea, but once again, still kind of slow. And Raven coming in here. The Raven's still not getting killed. Like I said, Vandals do not deal a whole lot of damage. However, the Bandits are going to be able to destroy these Pyros, no problem. Apparently, these Pyros, like I said, Bandits are actually a pretty good counter to that. So the Pyros, one of their number goes down, but more of them being built. Five so far, and at this point, Randy and Black Duchy are not too far off economically. Though Randy is much healthier energy-wise, Black Duchy has not built any energy structures except for a couple wind generators. And that's not going to work for him. He needs to build more energy. He does need to build more metal as well, but energy is his biggest weakness at the moment. More wind, more wind generators, really. That's probably the best thing to do. He does have a convict up. He is getting more power plants, so that is going to be helpful. However, pyros are coming in, and nothing is here to defend against this at all. There's absolutely nothing. Randy's going to be able to probably just win with his Pyro Assault. And at the same time, we do have a counterattack from Black Duchy coming in with the Glaives. Sorry, the Bandits. Trying to get rid of these Pyros. If it were Glaives, it wouldn't be quite so successful. But the Bandits that he has right here, it will work. However, he has to retreat. He's retreating. He has to save his base. This isn't going to be in time. He's probably going to lose the entire base in the meantime. His Roach... Where is that Roach? He does have a Roach around here somewhere. It's in the middle of the map. Not at all useful, unfortunately. That Roach is out of position. And the Pyros are going to be able to tear apart everything here. Black Duchy is pretty much done. I don't know what much hope he has. One Roach going off, dealing more damage to the base itself than to the Pyros. Killing one of the Pyros, but at the same time, that's not enough. And the base is going to go down. The factory is going to go down within a few seconds. These bandits aren't even going to be able to get back up this ramp, onto the ramp before the tractor goes down. And that factory's gone. Black Duchy throws in the towel. That is game. And will be that game. So I'll have another one hopefully for you in just a few minutes once someone else steps up to play. In the meantime, just stay tuned while that happens and I play intermission music.